welcome back to DC Universe Online let's play with Sambo and Blaze Purple hi there Blaze Purple I um, thought I'd uh, thought we'd take a bit of a break from the combat action today and embark on a bit of a scenic tour I was looking through one of my uh, or through the quest log and noticed that I have a couple of low level quests here that I want to knock out and one of them is in Little Bohemia. Now, if uh, we go to the map here, um, just, uh, and in fact, we haven't explained the map in any great detail, so I'll just take a moment to do that. As you'll notice, we're, we're up here in the Chinatown district, and on the map, it breaks um, Metropolis, because we're in Metropolis, obviously, breaks it down into the different suburbs, and as you mouse over their names you'll see they highlight on the map which is very handy and uh, it gives you an idea of the scale of the city which is, is as I've said many times in the past is huge uh, and gorgeous they've really really done a fantastic job um, both designing and um, rendering the, the city it's, it's, it's amazing um, so this quest, this lower level quest, is actually um, asking us to go to Little Bohemia, which you can see down here in the bottom of Metropolis. So it's a fair hike. Um, and what I could do, and what most people would do, and what you should do later on in the game, the fast way to get to these different police stations here, you'll see there's one, obviously we're outside now in Chinatown, there's one over there in Midtown, uh, in the center of Metropolis, and there's another one to the south. Uh, Bohemia, which is where our quest is. What you would normally do is go to the watchtower inside a police station, and then inside the watchtower are portals, uh, which can take you directly to all of these other um, police stations in different districts, and in fact, even in different cities. So, for example, we could um, enter the watchtower here in Chinatown, in Metropolis, and then uh, go take a portal to Gotham City, which is a nice, fast way of getting around. But today um, we're going to we're going to go do this quest because basically it's a break from combat. We'll have a nice scenic um, sort of tour guide flight all the way there, and it'll give you an opportunity to check out the city. So um, perhaps we'll find some collectibles along the way, and you'll get an idea of the size and beauty of the place. So let's head off in that general direction. We'll Mike, so you can see the scope of the city, which is just huge. And while we're flying, um, just to remind you that um, we did hit level 10 uh, recently in one of our most more recent episodes, uh, and that means that a whole bunch of new content has opened up. Uh, we've got new PvP arenas, we've got new instances that we can try out. Um, so lots and lots of goodies keep opening up and I must say um, that the pace at which new content opens up is really well done. Uh, ooh, now, this is going to happen all the way to Little Bohemia, I can tell you that now, is we're going to find um, areas such as this and we're going to have a bit of an explore just in case uh, we stumble across a collectible. Guarantee that we will, um, although no doubt we'll get, get proven wrong case. Um, so yeah, um, lots and lots of content opens up at a really solid pace, so there's always something new that appears to sort of um, uh, open up. And I really like it because, you know, if, if anything, they can slow down on the, um, the speed that it opens up. Um, because it seems that you um, just managed to get through some content and, um, gosh, my flying while talking skill is shizen. Um, you just managed to get through some content and you want to you know, do it again and again to really enjoy it and you know, before you know it some more has opened up. So there's just so much in this game. So many different um, activities to do. Um, they've really, really nailed it in terms of spending time making sure that uh, you're not going to get bored anytime soon. And of course get proven wrong and we're not going to find anything here. It does bear mentioning that you know someone may have come here very recently and 
done the same thing as me and they're just the collectibles are waiting to respawn so that's always a possibility let's just make sure we're on the right track here so where are we we're currently in currently in the suicide slums so we're on our way over to Uh, it's great too because as you fly into the different districts and areas you notice the tone of the city it really does change like that you know if you're in the slums it's all grotty if you're in um, the city of tomorrow it's all shiny and new but you know you can see here we're in a slum area and there's uh, steam and here we are in an industrial area and steel works you know, they've really done well in terms of capturing the, the different atmospheres and flavors uh, of uh, well, that you'd find in a city, you know, it's, it's great. Well, that reminds me actually of this alley. I have to find it. There's another alley that I was just doing this. I was, I was wandering around looking for collectibles, and I stumbled across um, a bunch of roses on the ground. And believe it or not, it was the area that Batman's, uh, well, you know, Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne's parents had been shot, and there were memorial roses laid there, and there was a storyline. Law segment plate. Uh, I'd like to find that and show you. It's fantastic. All right, so here's a thug random again. All right, so he gave us a little bit of XP. Didn't get to tie him up that time. All right, so down on the waterfront. Um, oh, that's another thing. Uh, actually, there's a building. If we see a building, must scale it. Um, that's the other thing too. If you, you, there's a real sense of scale in this. Like if you look down, or well maybe not so much in this building, but you really do feel like you're up high. It's um, it's really well done. Oh, no collectibles up there today. We'll have a look up at this one. We got over here. We've got a ridiculous looking superhero trying to impress some citizens by the looks of things. And there's the city of tomorrow up there in the distance. Right, I think it's time to do an epic drop, don't you? Oh, yeah. I think the most superhuman thing about my character is her superhuman high heels. They can withstand such a drop. Uh, what I wanted to do is, we'll put on our super speed, is show you flying across the water because that's actually quite cool as well. You can swim, but when you go across the water, you actually create a bit of a splash. Alright, so we're heading over to a Little Bohemia, so that should all come into view shortly. Um, oh, I remember this area from the beta. This is the um, old abandoned amusement, uh, amusement park in Queensland Boardwalk, which should be familiar to you if you're a DC fan. Alright, let's check our map. Where's our quest? Yeah, okay, it's coming up here. So. You know, again, the game makes it very obvious. There's um, a couple of, oh, well, actually, there are a couple of races here, and there's the Bohemia uh, Police Station. There's the city out there in the background, and hopefully, around here, we will see some new collectibles. So, once again, knowing my luck, oh, look at that. I'm in luck. What have we got? Let's check it out. Metropolis Street Signs. Alright, we might remember we started that a while ago. Oh, we already have that one. Come on. Alright, let's go inside here and talk in this, uh, hand in this quest, because I've got a funny feeling that we're going to talk to the Flash, if my memory serves me correctly.
All right, lots of goodies over here. Let's see what we can do. Patients are rioting all over the meadow wing at Metropolis General Hospital. LexCorp is trying to keep Metro PD from the scene, so something big is up. Superman wants you to handle it. You'll need this metahuman encasement device for as long as it lasts. All right, so our journal updated there, and we've got to... Oh, we can complete that. I like that. Go to Metropolis General Hospital. Cool. And there's a new booster gold kiosk here, because we're in a different area. So he'll want to um, take us on a tour around the city. Hi, I'm Booster Gold. You might remember me from other exploration adventures such as Chinatown, Gotham's East End, and the harrowing Suicide Slum. Today's exploration will take us to Metropolis University, a world-class institution of higher learning. All right, thank you, Booster. And I can see we've got a quest mark on the map through here. And yeah, sure enough, it's the Flash. Now, I don't know if you're like me, if you guys are a big fan of the Big Bang Theory TV show, but it's ruined me. Whenever I see the Flash now, all I can think of is Sheldon Cooper. Disturbing. What do you know? There's trouble in town. Hive is attacking Star Labs and Lex Core Exobyte Transports down by the Metropolis Metrodome. If they get rolled, we'll never crack Brainiac's technology. Alright, so we have to go to the Hive infestation near Outlook Park. Now, um, the Hive, uh, we haven't been fighting the Hive up to this point. Um, we've been dealing with Faust and his soulless thralls. Um, this area is centered around um, the Hive and uh, all of their evil doings and in fact the new instances that will open up actually take us into the Hive base etc. So that'll be something for next time. Uh, once again it was just a short little scenic trip. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, must get on to the Watchtower so I'll try and make sure that we do that in the next episode because that's an important step of your journey if you're going to start playing um, the game. It's not only is it huge and hard to <laughs> hard to get around and get lost but it's also an important place that has a number of um, vital vendors uh, for example it's where you go to respec your character and it's also where you can get some um, um, gear that you buy with um, the game's currencies like special tokens and renown etc so all the epic gear is in the watchtower so hopefully next time that's what we shall do um, hope you have a great day and blaze purple and i will talk to you later bye bye